I said, I want to become a teacher. I also want to make a difference in students' life. This is what teaching is all about. In one of the most important places in America, a public school. They had an unwavering belief in the power of education. Schools are the heartbeat of the community. My name is Janet Rivera Gonzalez, and I teach at Northridge Elementary School. I love teaching, and when I was little back in, uh, in Mexico, I always play school with my cousins. I was a teacher, of course. They were my, they were my students, and I was helping them, you know, with school stuff. It felt good to help others. Then later in life, I came to the U.S. when I was 14 years old and there was a teacher, you know, who made a difference in my life. She guided me, she helped me. She really made a difference in my, in my life. And I said, I wanna become a teacher. I also want to make a difference in students' life the way she did with me. One of the things that I think has been so successful, like starting this online learning, every time I design my lessons, I said, okay, how can I incorporate a way, you know, to really engage students? So I'm always uh, finding like creative ways. I incorporate, for example, movement, you know, dancing. Okay, let's dance. I use theme days or spirit days. Now that they're at home, students are at home, um, I use artifacts. So I said, okay, what can I use for students to tell me if they agree, if they disagree with their partner? and then for me also to be able if they got their answer correct. So I use the sunglasses for statements. I'm agreeing, you know, put your sunglasses if you agree or disagree. Yes, Miss Rivera, that's equal to six. A ver, déjeme verlos. And then if I see, you know, okay, most of them got it, you know, that's the correct answer. And then they have to prove their answer. That's a fun way, you know, they all love to wear glasses. It was fun for them, and it also I used that so I could see academic learning through using artifacts from home. And you know, learning is fun, and that's kind of always been my motto, you know, like, learning should be fun when the kids like laughter and excitement, and I said, okay, this is what teaching is all about. The first week of school, every day was a theme day. Okay, wear, you know, shirt with your favorite color. And then I was asking, oh, I noticed that you're wearing pink. Is that your favorite color? So we were getting to know each other. Like the next day was not to dress up, but I was telling information about me, stuff about me. So they were using a spoon and a fork. So I said, okay, go get a scavenger hunt and go get a spoon and a fork. Let's see if you know, you know, Miss Rivera. Let's see how, how much have you learned about her. So we were doing a true false statements and I say oh no you know I don't have two pets I only have one so we were using the spoon and the fork or find someone who by using like the sunglasses okay if you like Pixar put your sunglasses and I said okay now look at the camera and see at the end of the day we have what is called like a closing circle and then I have an activity that it, um, it's about ask me anything. So every day I choose two students and then all other students, they can ask them anything. I, of course, I model the first one and I say, okay, well, what is your favorite food? Or you have a pet. Today we're gonna pick Jaylen and another student. Okay, let's get to know them more. Ask them anything. They started, you know, to know even me getting to know them better, but also their friends, their classmates. So creating that community, like how I do it in person, I wanted to also make a community and online learning.